Hey, what's going on fellas? Welcome back to another brand new video. Spider-Man Remastered is pretty new in the market right now, but we have been waiting for it a long time now. Since the game is new and it's a remastered version, we see a lot of FPS issues and bugs in the game as a whole. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get best performance, fix all of your FPS problems and get much better FPS just by following a few settings. Once again, do not forget to leave your specification in the comments below. I'm going to be replying to each one of you with the best settings possible. And with all this said, let's roll the intro. on your desktop the really first thing that you should do is create a restore point and this is highly highly suggested once you search for create a restore point simply look up for your local disk c or any drive with says system then simply click on configure and make sure the turn on system protection is enabled click on ok and then click on create name it spider-man and simply click on create we do this simple step to protect our system if anything goes wrong you can always restore it back where nothing has happened so this is just an image point once it is done you will see a pop-up just like this simply click on close and close the system properties now let's move to our step number two that is search up for background apps now this is one of the very major step so you just have to look for background apps and then simply turn this thing off once you have done it, simply search for game mode over here and then go to game mode settings and make sure that game mode is enabled. In the same setting, you will find your related settings where you have graphic settings. Click on the graphic settings and make sure that hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned on. Now here comes a super important step. Just right click on your Spider-Man remastered logo or your icon or your desktop shortcut. Simply open up file location and look up for the installation directory of Spider-Man. If you have downloaded from Steam, you can simply right click on your Steam and go to browse local files. Once you have copied, simply go to browse, paste this location over here and then add spiderman.exe application in here once you have added that simply go to options and then click on high performance and then click on save once you're done with the settings part simply close your settings and then download the spider-man remastered fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this in the description below super easy to download once you've downloaded it simply open it up and you'll find in three folders and a single file the first folder is the programs folder and in here you'll find quick cpu simply download and install quick cpu and open it up once quick cpu opens up you will see an interface similar to this for your system power plan, I highly recommend you guys to go with high performance or ultimate performance if you see. Once you're done with that, simply look up for core parking and slide all of these things to 100%. This will allow your CPU to perform at its maximum because Spider-Man Remastered is a very highly CPU intensive game. So I highly recommend you guys to install quick CPU and do this simple step to unlock maximum performance of your processor. Once you're done with that, simply click on apply, click on OK and minimize it and let it run in the background. You can even feel free to close it as well. Next up is go to folder number two, which is RAM optimization. And in here, you will find all presets of memory from 4GB to 64GB. You can select your own preset from here. If you don't know which system memory you're using, simply press your Windows key and then search for system information. Once you are here, look up for install physical memory on your device. For me, it's 16GB, so I'm going to be using the 16GB RAM registry. Simply right click and click on merge or simply double click and run it. If you have any doubts regarding to this registry, you can simply right click, click on edit and look at the settings that it's changing. Once you're done with the RAM optimization, simply go to the third folder which is the registries and in here you'll find four simple registry. The first one disables power throttling which allows you to get much better power performance. Then we have executive full screen and I'm going to be explaining it in a while. Third one is fixing mouse delay. So sometimes in cinematic games like Spider-Man, mouse delay is really, really important for many things. So simply run these registry as well. And the last one is finally the thread priority, which will allow your CPU once again to unlock its maximum potential. Once you are done applying all of these registries, the final thing that you have to do is clean the temporary files. Simply double click and open this thing up 
press any key to continue and this will delete all of the temporary files on your PC. Do not worry, these files are not required and it's completely safe to do that. Once you're done with that, simply close the FPS pack and finally go ahead to run the Spider-Man Remastered. Alright, so once you open up the launcher, you will see a screen just like this. Do not click on play, just do the following things. First, click on settings and then a dialog like this will appear right in front of you. First things first, for window mode, select executive full screen from this drop down list and here is why we have run that executive full screen registry optimization. That will optimize your executive full screen to get maximum performance. Then select your monitor. If you have two monitors or single monitor, you can choose which one to play on. For me, I'm going to be using this 240 hertz monitor. And for the resolution, maximum supported resolution on my monitor is 1440 but I recommend playing on 1080p because lower the resolution maximum the frame rate so if you want to play on higher resolution then you have to compromise with your frame rate once again a 1920 by 1080 is not a bad resolution for upscale method I highly recommend you guys to use DLSS but for any reason if you can't use DLSS you can use AMD FSR for beginning I highly recommend you guys to keep it on DLSS if that doesn't work in the game we will do it in the game settings ahead for dynamic resolution scaling I highly recommend you guys to choose the maximum which is being shown on your PC, refresh it, select the highest shown on your PC and VSync my personal preference is turned off. Once you're done with that, go to the second panel which is the graphics panel and over here I highly recommend you guys to select custom and then click on medium. Just make sure that everything is set to medium and the motion blur strength is set to 5, film grain strength is set to 0. Rest all the settings we will be changing in game so let's click on ok and then click on play. Alright friends, once you are in game you can see my FPS on the top left section of the screen. As you guys can see I'm currently getting around 140 FPS. So if you want to go higher in FPS simply click on escape button and then go to settings. Now over here just follow my settings, go to display and graphics and in here just make sure that you are playing on your primary monitor. For the windowed mode I highly recommend you guys to go with executive full screen and there is nothing else to change over here. We think I highly recommend you guys to turn this thing off. For upscaling method try using DLSS or AMD FSR whichever works best for you for me DLSS works the best so you can just switch to anyone play around for a couple of minutes and you can look at the FPS for me DLSS works the best so I'm going to be using DLSS then simply click on the graphics section and then don't change the preset just make sure that your texture quality is medium texture filtering if you have a super low end PC I highly recommend you guys to go with 2x anisotropic filtering if you have a better PC, a medium and or high end PC, I highly recommend you guys to go with 8x anisotroping. Then we have the shadow quality, doesn't affect the game much but you can go with low or medium shadows. Ambient occlusion, I highly recommend you guys to go with SSAO. If you have a super low end PC, I highly recommend you guys to turn this thing off. Once again, I have a decent computer with an RTX 2070 Super so I'm gonna be choosing SSAO. But if you have a super low end PC without any GPU, I highly recommend you guys to turn this thing off. Off. Then screen space reflection, I highly recommend you guys to turn this thing on. Ray tracing reflection, super super recommended to turn this thing off because that's gonna save you hell load of FPS. Then once again for geometry, if you have any decent computer with graphics card up 4GB and above, you can go with medium. If you don't have a GPU or have a GPU up to 4GB, I highly recommend you guys to go everything low. Then we have the camera effects and here is the important part. For the depth of field, I highly recommend you guys to go with high because because there is absolutely no fun of playing this game on low depth of field then for the bloom lens flare chromatic aberration and vignette i highly recommend you guys to turn this thing on for a better experience of game then we have motion blur set it to 5 field of view once again a personal preference you can go up for high or you can go up for low i personally prefer 10 is the best and for film grain strength you can see it doesn't really affect that much but i recommend to turn this thing to zero once you're done with that, simply press on escape and roam around in the world. Look at how much you like this game. If you do like the game, you can keep the settings or you can change it. Play around with the settings until you find the one that you like. Alright guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I did, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. Once again, do not forget to leave your specs in the comments below. I'll be replying to each one of you with the best settings. So, yep. 
We'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox, and peace out.